Welcome to The Exchange with Willie May and Mr. Daniel Dickey on AM 1100, Atlanta's entertainment radio network. This radio broadcast is your direct connection to the pulse of Atlanta. Join us for celebrity guest interviews, event news, entertainment, and much more. Your comments and questions are welcome during the broadcast. Call us live on the air at 404-603-8770. That's 404-603-8770. Now, here's Lily May and Mr. Daniel Dickey. And we're the pause. There we and go. Y'all. I know we were waiting on that. Yes. Pause. Get on the pause. You know what I'm saying? The Falcons got this victory last week. He got this hat on. I don't know if this is the Falcons or the Alkins, though, on this hat, but we'll figure this out later. <laughs> Welcome to the Exchange Show. I'm Lily May. Yay. And my guest Lily May. is Dove. Yeah. Uh, Dove. Uh, uh, Dove. <laughs> Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> and we have two very special guests that we'll be interviewing um, later in the show. The founder of Flat Out of Heels and the founder mm. of Luxurious Credit. Mm. So definitely stay tuned for those interviews. But there's a lot going on in the world uh, today uh, related to sports. And I'm not into sports whatsoever. Oh, my God. Why do women feel like they have to do this disclaimer? Well, I mean, some women uh, are. I just really want... Like sports. Well, my point was... Yeah, was there a I'm, point? There was a point. I'm oh. not really into sports, but because of the news and frenzy with, you know, Mayweather and some rice guy, you know, it's forced me to oh kind of know what's God. going on in those worlds. So, I mean, you know, the whole Ray Rice thing is, is super, like, you know... Over, you know, uh, discussed, if you will, and so recently, over discussed. I, I think so. Okay. Like, I mean, I'm sure. Well, I think I don't. I don't know. See, over discussed. I would disagree because it, now the, the the layers of the story keep coming forward. But so, so that's what keeps happening. Well, it's like it's well, I mean, it's, so many months ago. Exactly in February, and you know, he's there's a d- domestic violence dispute. You know, they've suspended him, and you know, that's that. But I feel like people are, you know really really going in and someone made a good point earlier today because Mayweather was charged you know not <laughs> first of all Mayweather why would he ever think he can vocalize on anything, on anything in the history exactly. of life <laughs> and so he was charged with a, a domestic situation yes. and they allowed multiple, him I think multiple now actually. right but right before uh, one of the big fights he was charged and they allowed him to you know go forth with the fight and he made you know of course mega millions off of it and then he had the nerve to speak about it so it's like you know what what's different in the boxing world versus is the NFL arena where in the boxing world you can do what you want, you can abuse who you want, they don't care, I guess, as long as you bring in the millions? I don't know. Well, I mean, unfortunately, I, at the end of the day, these sports, uh, boxing, of course, is one that's very physical and there's a demand for physical contact, literally punching. Uh, so, you know, to see that play out in those people's personal lives uh, could definitely, it it's sad and unfortunate, but it's not like, oh my God, I can't believe a boxer punched someone other than the person they're fighting in the ring. So Right, they're, they're, or a big football player right. that hits grown men for a living mm-hmm. hit a woman and you know the video is extremely disturbing but what's equally disturbing is his wife you know vocalizing almost in defense of her husband like you guys really ripped our you guys really ripped our lives apart and you know x y and z and it was like wow you know there really is a a, a discussion that should be had about domestic Violence and the victims outside of Ray Rice and his situation, but more so the victim, which is her. And so, um, well, f- a couple of things. First, uh, so we we have Dawn Dixon. She's actually sitting in on this segment. And so, Dawn, feel free to chime in on anything okay, we're talking good. about today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> feel free. To, yes, yes, yeah. There you go, Scott. Yes, round of applause. <laughs> well, look, yes, so yes, so there you go. I think that. So, I think here's here's the thing. I think here's the narrative that's that's going on with um, with the Ray Rice situation. So, of course, the Ray Rice situation happened in February. There was um, there was cameras and stuff like that, you know, that were in the elevator and all that kind of stuff like that. And then Ray Rice actually told his team everything that happened. Like, he told them he hit them, hit her, and everything that happened. And they, of course, showed him dragging her in the first video that was came out in when it first happened. They showed him dragging her out of the elevator. So it was clearly something happened. You know, he was charged with something. Um, but now it's just the layers of cover up and things of that nature because I think the NFL tried to look out, you know what I'm saying, and say only suspended them for two mm-hmm. games and mm-hmm. they felt like um and so they only tried to sus- they only suspended them for two games and of course they were fian they were engaged at that point and now they've since been canceled and went through the process of healing from that and have now been married for several months now as well. And so for now now that to come out and now for it to for them to the NFL to compound the suspension, remove them from the league. So it was like they didn't have a problem when they saw it, 
They only right. had a problem when, when we saw, saw it. it, you know. And so that that's not necessarily fair to him as a player because you know there's 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 NFL athletes. Ben Roethlisberger being one, namely, he was uh, charged with rape and mm-hmm. he never even sat out a game. I don't believe. Wow. And so there's so many standards that are appearing to be doubled and tripled and things of that nature. And so I think that's why the conversation is going to a place now where they're actually asking for the commissioner to resign. Oh wow! I mean, there's been uh, guys who've killed people and have been able to come so back. So they're asking and, him to resign because they feel like Ray's punishment is unfair, well, no, it, or because he overlooked it initially and then came back. With the well, punishment. I think it's I think it's that, but I think it's also in compilation with all the other things that have happened, like the oh, okay. rape and, and he's, all these oh, other wow. things that are happening on this guy's watch. Oh, gotcha. You know gotcha, what I'm gotcha, saying? Gotcha, like, okay. so it's like it's it's so much. It's so many uh, things that are happening. The there's been uh, apparently it was 52 or 56 cases of domestic abuse that were reported wow. last year in the NFL. That's you know awful. what I'm saying? So it wasn't so, so it wasn't like we got Ray Rice and then nobody else. It was right. a bunch of these dudes. Right. And so that was I think that's why the conversation keeps changing layers. And then of course we have a situation um, you know that's happening here in Atlanta with the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, with some racism allegations and the uh, owner basically, because uh, of course, you know, now since the Donald Sterling situation, the NBA has launched like a probe into the owners and that kind of stuff. Which and is so, good news. Yeah. And so this guy came forward like, you know what, listen, before it even comes out, I definitely said some racist stuff oh, uh, in wow. some emails. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was two years ago. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I know it's going to come out. So I'm Mine just going to go ahead and. Just fall on the sword, if you will. But, you know, but people feel like there's an ulterior motive there because he tried to sell the Hawks like two years ago, mm-hmm. three years ago to no avail. So they kind of mm-hmm. feel like there's a there's some some loaded, there's some ulterior motives there. Um, so there's a lot going on in the sports world these mm-hmm. days. You might as well jump into the sports report. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, well, before we jump <laughs> into the sports report. <laughs> wait, wait, what was that? <laughs> Is it Chewbacca? Yes, Not shut up. <laughs> okay. Yes, good old Scott. Like, you count you put some red, though. Listen, but before we even go into that, I actually wanted, before we even went into the show for real. For real? Yeah, I'd like to actually uh, take a moment to acknowledge this being 9-11 and, you know, salute the uh, people whose lives were lost on that day. And so we actually have a tribute uh, from the legendary Ray Charles that we'd like to go into before we go another further.
Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Sing, Ray. Sing, Ray. Yes, Ray Charles, the legendary uh, Ray Charles. May he rest in peace as well as all uh, the victims and people whose lives were lost uh, on September 11th, 2001. So now, back into this popping show with Lily. Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> Lily's here, huh? Yes, hey. yes, hey. yes. Hey, uh, me, Lily, America. Look, and of course, I'm always trying to get at Dawn Dixon. You know? And Arnita Johnson. So we have a, a a show full today. Yes. But we were talking a little bit about sports, and I know you had some other things you wanted to highlight about sports, too. Um, you and said or no? Uh, well, where, where's said it? Um, where's I, our I, sports guy? Well, so you, you remember in Mission in Action uh, where Chuck Norris came like up out of the water with the Uzi? Right. That, that's probably going to happen next week. Says going to come up out oh, of the water. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he's like underwater right now, like waiting on all the, you know what I'm saying, the bad guys to get on the show. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yes. So that's what's happening with said. We'll see said next week. Uh, gotcha. Maybe. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, allegedly see said next week. If not, we'll see said, you know. Yeah, I believe said is actually in Washington, D.C. Mm-hmm. I think that's where our set is. Said is our producer, if you didn't know. And so he comes in and does our sports report as well. So we're missing said this week. Well, hey, Lily's said. missing said. I, I am. I know, love yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kind of. I'm, You'll be late I'm, for that. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I got Lily. I got Dawn. And then we also Arnita, have. Yeah, so I'm, you're I'm, good on Yeah, I'm, I like the Aww. ratio three to oh, one. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Three to two, I'll be late for that. I don't know. I, I feel like I need said here for, you know, the song battle portion because he has a good music ear. Does and he, he tends to lean toward my way with that. So, uh, you know, yeah. without him missing, I'm sure you have, you know, some of your staff call in to, to vote for you. And, uh, actually, you know, we don't want that happening. Look, my, my, <laughs> look, listen, my swashbuckling staff actually call and vote for you under your, anonymous your what voices. what staff? Swashbuckling. Swashbuckling? Yes, exactly. And what would that mean? Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> swashbuckling. Uh, that that reference is typically um uh, assigned to pirates gotcha um, gotcha yes oh, gotcha, yes yes gotcha. purveyors of the high seas <laughs> <laughs> so apparently daniel has a uh, someone on his staff by the name of butterbuka i think uh, is his name first of all yes <laughs> i'd love to know <laughs> who, who are you hiring out here daniel well, what, what's I, up with the resource list, guild I'm, I'm, and their staff and butterbuka what's yes I'm, i mean i you know here's what happens i typically think that they're like you know like uh upstanding citizens yeah. <laughs> and then they call and do the song battle and vote for you under anonymous names like yeah, Butterbuka, like you could I mean and yes but I'd love to not spend any time talking about Butterbuka. so <laughs> let's move on with life okay you know what I'm saying Butterbuka, there was actually a um a hit put out on you so oh, no. yes, Butterbuka's <laughs> life is actually in danger right now oh, no. so, but we'll talk about that in the second segment <laughs> or never actually we'll be right back <laughs> Do you need branded items to promote your business or services? Brand 201 offers marketing expertise to help you choose the perfect promotional items to grow your business. Take your visibility and exposure to the next level with unique, personalized items of all kinds. Your brand needs to make an impact and you need Brand 201. Visit Brand201.com or send an email to info at Brand201.com. That's Brand201.com or send an email to info at Brand201.com. Want to enhance the attendance of your next event or concert? Would you like a business advertisement sent to thousands of Atlanta subscribers? Contact Flow On Entertainment today. Mention Exchange Show ATL for a special $50 newsletter blast to over 22,000 Atlantans. Visit flowonent.com or send an email to info at flowonent.com. Again, that's info at flowonent.com. Looking to get the word out? Look to Lily May PR. Lily May PR is a boutique public relations and consulting firm serving talent and business professionals. Services include media pitching, event support, red carpet escorting, product launches, and campaign execution. Previous media placements include USA Today, Uptown Magazine, Yahoo News, The Hollywood Reporter, Billboard.com, and more. To schedule a complimentary consultation, visit LilyMayPR.com or find Lily May PR on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 